job, isn't it? Now look, I don't care. I just want to know their names. Who, Cope? One of them is a man named Randall. Been with the camp almost a year. I didn't know the other two. You want me to ask? No, I guess not. You find that son of a bitch. You radio me. Fumbling out. You'd shot Manny, you know? Who'd fix my bike then? Stupid piece of shit. <laughs> Screw you! You are Copeland's toadies! You little bitch! That's what you are! You little bitch! Cope, it's done. I got him. Mark down these coordinates and send your man out here. Uh, you hear me? Hey, Is he alive? Yeah, he's alive. But I won't promise you how long he's gonna stay that way. Deacon out. Boozer, you there? I was just calling to check up on you. Yeah, do you come here? Hang in there, buddy. As soon as we get that arm patched up, we're riding north, just like you said. Nah, I hope so. God, I miss you on the road. Just work on getting better. I still got some work to do on the bike, and we gotta stock up on some gear. But once you're patched up, we're out of here. Deacon out. Got some good stuff in stock. <laughs> you don't want to run out of fuel in the shit, that's for sure. You gotta work man. Later, man. I guess I'm just distracted. That all you need? Okay. Stop by any time.
If it you ain't my best customer. You know? I mean, ever. Hey, Deacon. See if it still works. Deacon St. John. St. John, look up. this.
Here's another one. Time to burn. I can always use this. Should be clear now, damn freaker ness. Should be safer to move through here now.
Er, Alki. Over at the dig site. Well, which one, goddammit? The north one. Back there. If anybody touches this bike, or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. Jesus. What? You need something? I keep telling you, everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. 25 feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to... I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. No, you don't. But these people are hungry, even if they had all their strength. It'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit! We're all hungry, Al. But this job's got to get done whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. Not finished. We'll make it quick, will you, Al? I got things to do. Rippers. This morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them? How the f... Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al! Are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I... I don't know. Maybe he knows. <laughs> what the fuck are you oh. up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Alki. It's not his job to know. It's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You either want me here, running your dig, or you want me out there in the shit. In the rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? I don't know, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't! Did you track down Leon? Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. How long's it been since you found someone, brought him in? The kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the fever. It's not my problem. You want our food? I'm making it your problem. I told you we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? Because it's a waste of time, Tuck. <laughs> well, aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not Boozer's old lady. He goes where he wants. I know we can't bury these. <laughs> Jesus. We'll Keep the on. shit burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here. With men like you doing your jobs. Damn right we keep it burning. Using more gasoline. Burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? When it's all gone, what are you gonna put in that bike of yours? Spit and sweat? Now what the hell is going on here? The count's off. Storage is missing food and some ammo. Jesus. Who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. You got it. Trouble in paradise? It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Bunch of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Because that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived were those mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. The rest are here. Hoping I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm so they can sit on their asses and watch the world end. You! Get your ass back to work! Don't make me go get Cyrus! 
Lazy sons of bitches. Can screw around all they like on their time. Daytime is my time. Running this camp is no different than running a prison. I can't remember yeah, what you yes. said. You were, you were so what? You were a warden or something? <laughs> Nothing so high and mighty. I was matron of the women's ward. You look like the sort who might have spent some time in the pen, back in the day. You ever do time? I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in K-State. I got a job for you. Larson was on a run yesterday. Passed through Marion Forks, said he saw someone. Young woman looked like him, but he only caught a glance. He stopped to look around, but he never found her. Is he sure? Larson's been doing this long as you. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack for this. You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do. But look, Tuck, I want the rest of my credits for Leon. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. I gotta go find Wheeler. Someone's looking at a night in the shack. <laughs> Okay. What do you want, Drifter? What's your problem? Hmm? One of my men uh, escaped to Ripper Camp over by Iron Butte. Got tortured, like they always do. But this time, they kept asking me if he knew about it. Two bikers, two men, asking me if he'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, <laughs> what's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. You ask me? You got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? Now, why don't you just show me what you got? Because I don't have time for your bullshit. Whatever you say, Deke. What else can I do for you? Good choice. Here you go. Good piece. Should help out in the shit. Yeah, all right. I'll be here. Now I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. Can't head north until I get better gear. Tucker it is. Hey, Tuck. You get my drugs from Leon? Yeah. Yeah, Cope wanted me to sell to him, but uh, I know who my friends are. <laughs> you got that right. Go see Alki. I heard Larson brought in a stash of shotguns and rifles. Maybe he's got something you can use. Can I help you? What the hell? Get back to work. Hey, back to work. Bet you're here for your bike, right? Looking for something specific? Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Hey, a deacon, right? How's the bike business going, Zanny? Zanny, I'll be back. Who's the 
drifter that keeps bringing things in. Deke, you there? Boozer, why the hell aren't you in your damn bunk? I couldn't sleep. Remember what I said back in the tunnel? Don't go up there, Dan. It's, it's making you crazy. Boozer, I... I go up there because there's freaks up there. I kill them here, I kill them there. Bounties are all the same to me. She had at the wedding. I remember. Fucking up. Listen, loser. Get some rest. I gotta go. Deacon out. Those bruiser, they're still coming. <laughs> Tulip's bruiser, they're still crop. Get it right. I gotta finish burning out this infestation, so... This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Back during the American Revolution, when we were fighting for our freedoms, we gained the beautiful right to keep and bear arms. A right we used to protect ourselves, our families, our property. That is, until the ever-growing federal government got scared of the people they swore to protect. Gotta be close to a nest. Over the years, I can smell they it. stripped us of every gun right they could. Using a few mass shootings as an excuse to curtail the God-given rights of us, American citizens. Gun control. With the Second Amendment, ladies and gentlemen. Let me ask you this. When all this shit went down, if every American was packing heat, you think we'd be in this mess? Hell no. But this is how the feds wanted it. No nest. Disarming the Burn public down. is just the first step to get rid of us all. So who are those gun laws we to protect? Sure as hell it's not so American taxpayers. Someday, we have a ticket out of this. We want to take a home. I bet those who survived were those who had guns. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Okay, Cope, this time you got me. I'll take all the guns I can get my hands on. Ain't no one taking them away.
was that sound? <laughs> An injector. Nero had all the good shit. Son of a bitch, but you probably had that coming, yeah? Scrap. Should be it. 